ODQ7 has a complaint in passing vehicle inspection field. This is the actual report of vehicle inspection field. It says in the inspection findings, the pegs was repaired pedal hard. Those who doesn't have any ideas on how do you know if brake vacuum booster failed. Brake vacuum booster located at driver side. For checking the brake vacuum booster, engine up, pump the brake several times and hold the pedal down to the floor. Remember this test. Next, start it up the engine. If the pedal doesn't go down, you have a defective vacuum brake booster and irreparable. The replacement is a must. Now, if opposite, if the pedal goes down, vacuum brake booster is not defective. Another thing is, if you heard a sucking sound inside the driver's side while pumping the brake, vacuum brake booster is leaking. Before you decided for vacuum brake booster replacement is to check the vacuum pump operation. Unlike other cars, mostly vacuum comes from intake manifold. Let's proceed on checking. It started up the engine. Disconnect the air pipe from vacuum booster. Then feel the air sucking if it is weak or is strongly vacuum. If it is strongly vacuum, the vacuum pump is working properly. Then you may suggest to replace the brake vacuum booster. You may check also the brake booster check bulb. The brake booster check bulb helps regulate the vacuum in the brake booster. I hope everything is clear and learn how to diagnose defective vacuum brake booster. 2016. Uh -huh. Very nice stuff. Uh -huh. Since 2016. Yeah. I will call me. I was in that other garage. Uh -huh. So he said there is a 1Q7 has a problem on a brake. Uh, yeah, I was with him. Uh -huh.